All right, good evening once again, guys. Um, today we are going to be continuing with um, bearings and uh, we're just going to look at another example or third example. And uh, as usual, one of the key things about bearings question is that you should be able to construct a diagram representing what the question is saying. So you should read carefully and interpret the question and then draw the diagram as best suit, suited for that description. All right, once you have drawn the diagram students, then from the diagram, you will use your knowledge of what you know about um, the cardinal direction, what you know about bearings, and what you know about trigonometry in order to come to some solutions based on what the question is asking. All right, so you should know all the rules based on bearings, and you should know um, how to apply your trig knowledge the trigonometric ratio. So you really want to look carefully and apply what you know about trig. All right, so with that said, let us look at this question. We're going to read through this question. We're going to try to construct a diagram for this question. And then we're going to try to do the calculation required. All right, so about sails eight kilometers from a port P on a bearing of 70 degrees. It then sails five kilometers on a bearing of 40 degrees. Calculate the distance that the boat is from P and also its bearing from P. Now I'll give you guys about three minutes to try to come up with a diagram on your own. And then now you can walk me through what you have. And then we will go through the question together. All right, guys. So take that three minutes, construct your diagram, and I will be asking you to walk me through what you have. All right, guys, as you try. So your three minutes begins now.
All right, guys. Um, so that was your first three minutes. Um, is there anybody who wants to walk me through um, their diagram? Or should I just call on someone at random? Is there any volunteer? In the previous lesson from the last class on bearings, Mr. Lamar has contributed a lot in terms of the diagram. I would like for somebody else today to give their contribution. All right, Ms. Waysom. All right, you can go ahead and walk me through the process of constructing a diagram. All right, sir. So it says a boat sails eight kilometers from a port P on a bearing of 70 degrees. Now for that part, sir, I made a point P. Then from that point, I drew the north line. All right, so let me just um, follow your direction. So I'm going to draw the point P. Yes, sir. And then you say you draw a north line. Yes, sir. Upward, yes. Which is generally a dotted line, right? Not a solid. Yes. Line. Brick line, yes. All right. So let's say that that's your north line. Yes, sir. Then it says um, from a port to on a bearing of 70 degrees, sir. So I Estimated 70 degrees now moving clock, um, clockwise. <laughs> All right. So, so um, so we can't really show you, but well, that is correct. I wish about that P there, sir. One way in your estimation, because you know you have a north line. And yes. If you try to, to at least figure out the four cardinal direction, mm -hmm. so you could actually put a plus in terms of our, our, our horizontal our, and a diagonal, sorry, horizontal and a vertical. Line, okay. Right. Yes, sir. Such that it, it gives you um, the cardinal direction. Then that could be a way of mm -hmm. estimating. Okay, sir. So you could, from, from, from these, Line and you don't have to make them very long. You just make them pretty much so that you can see four, four right, or four ninety degrees. And so with that, <clears throat> you can use your ninety degrees angle to 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 make your rough estimate based on the ninety degrees angle. So as you were saying now. This, 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 um, let me highlight where our 90 degrees would be. All right, so right here we know would be a right angle, so, right? So that's our 90 degrees angle. And now what we really want to do is based on that 90 degrees and we want to estimate 70 degrees. So as we yes. say, it's a rough, rough estimate. So in that case, we are going to measure an angle from the north line in a clockwise direction. So yes, here, sir. here is a, here is a, all right, let me do that now. All right, so here is your, your, your knot line. And you want to estimate 70 degrees in a clockwise direction. So you're going to move around clockwise. And remember now, if you cut the 90 degrees midway, that would be 45 degrees, right? And a rough estimate. 
All right. If you cut it in two thirds, that would be approximately 60. All right. And then now you know you would have 30 degrees remaining after you take out that first 60 degrees. Now, if you can estimate about 10 more degrees out of that 30, mm -hmm. so it would be somewhere here. And, and, and based on the question, you move in a direction, um, the boat sails what? Eight kilometers from the port. So you would go eight kilometers. So I'm just going to estimate this as our eight kilometers. All right. So we could just label that as eight kilometers. So this would be eight kilometers. All right, next step. Yes, sir. It's a, it then sails five kilometers on a bearing of 40 degrees. Before, no, sir, starting from? Before we do that, um, let's put in our, I think I draw this line is a little bit too long. So let me just undo it a little. All right, so we would have gone from here to here. Let's say that's the eight kilometers. All right. And um, so we need to label the eight kilometers as well as the bearings. So this would be eight kilometers. And the bearings from the north line would be a measure of this angle, which is 70 degrees. And remember, your bearings must be written with three digits. So that would be 070. All right, so there you go. So next step now, Miss Wilson, we would. Yes, sir. It then sails five kilometers on a bearing of 40 degrees, sir. So starting back from the point uh, P, we want to estimate uh, 40 degrees from there, sir. All right, so there is something wrong with that, um, that interpretation because you have to follow the course of the of the boat. So if it moves from P, it's going to end at eight kilometers. So from that point of eight kilometers, that's where you have to start a new bearings. All right, Miss Aesam? Yes, sir. So it means that where the where the boat stops, you now have to create a new. Oh, oh, oh. So I'd have to put an next start line right there. Right, so you have to create a new now. Okay. Right? Yes, sir. All right, so that is a new north line. So now from that new north line, so in other words, now you have to also see if you can create back another 90 degrees situation here so that it gives you an idea how to estimate your angles, all right? So from the point at which you're estimating your angles, just put um, a horizontal 
and a vertical line cross at the center from where the north line is, all right? And once you have done that, then you can estimate the angle. All right, so we're going to be moving now on a bearing of what? Go ahead, Mr. Issa. 40 degrees, sir. So from this point, we're going to move 40 degrees. So here is our north. We're going 40 degrees. Now, remember that we say that if we go in the middle of the 90 degrees, we are at 45. So 40 degrees. So this would be about 45. So 40 degrees would be about somewhere here. Now, it goes five kilometers, which is less than eight kilometers. So this line should be less than the length of the line that you drew before. All right, so let's say that it is right there. So now we have to label the length, which is five kilometers. And now also we have to label the bearings. So that would be 40 degrees. Sorry, remember our three figures. So it is zero, four, it's zero, four, zero. All right, so there you go. All right. Um, so now, anything else, Miss Wilson? No, sir. That is all I have for the diagram. All so right. Far, they says calculate the distance that the boat is from P. All right. So Can to complete the diagram, you have to draw that line for that distance. From yes, it says, right, the distance. So which which where would you draw the line to show the distance where the boat is from p um point p sir to to where um the eight kilometer would have stopped no you'd have to stop it where the boat would have stopped in the in the last part of his journey oh so in other words so from all the way out to, to where the five kilometer line stopped right so you need a straight line from where you started at P to where the boat actually stops. Mm -hmm. All right, so that would be a completion of the diagram. Mm -hmm. Is that clear to everyone? So now you have the task of calculating that distance, which you really don't know what you want to come up with some, some, some method, some strategy using your trigonometry um, knowledge. And remember, it's not only trigonometry you had learned, you learn about Pythagoras' theorem too. So use whatever knowledge you know in terms of triangles. All right, so what can we do here in terms of what we know? to actually calculate that distance from P to where the, where the uh, boat stops. So let us label where it stops with a letter. So we're going to call where it stops B for the boat. All right. Any ideas as, as how we could go about um, Calculating that length of PB. P, P, what's her PB? Yeah, from P to B. That's the length that we're trying to calculate now. Oh. And, and it, it's not just to calculate the length that we're going to be doing. We are also going to be finding the bearings of that line PB 
from the north line of P. All right, so there's two things you have to do. You have to calculate the distance VB, then you have to find the bearings um, the, the, the boat is from P. So you have to use the north line of, of P to measure that bearings. All right, so think about it. Give you three minutes to think about it and see if anyone will come up with an idea. All right, so um, your three minutes starts now. All right, any, any ideas, guys? Anybody come up with any ideas? Mr. Lamar, any ideas? Sir, does it involve the cosine rule? 
Well, if 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 you can apply a co the cosine rule, there wouldn't be any problem with that either. But um, one, I haven't I haven't taught the cosine rule as yet, and uh, um, I don't know if you would have sufficient information in order to apply that. Yes, sir. Yet maybe 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 you 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 probably want to play around with the course animal, but I don't think it would 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 help you that much for this question. Okay, sir. All right, so based on what you would have known already, you would have learned about right angle triangle. Now, you, you really don't have any right angle triangle based on this diagram. But the question is, are you, can you construct some right angle triangle in relation to this diagram so that it can help you. So that's a hint that I'm giving it there. Would you be able to construct any right angle triangle that will help you to somewhat have a better idea of how to solve this? Anybody see any way that they could construct any right angle triangle to help them here? Yes, sir. All right. Tell me what tell me what in what way you could construct that, Mr. Um, what was that, Ms. Wisdom? Yes, sir. All right. Well, what All right, sir. All right, sir. From the the point, um, what did you So, shall we just the car where we carry P come straight out? So, what are you saying? Let ask the distance P is, sir. Um, um from where you both travel from P. Somebody actually bring one dotted line come straight out to where B and sir, right? I mean, like, and so then. Yes, yes, sir. And then mid one next. Yeah, the mid one next dotted line coming down to meet up with this and actually form a right angle triangle. All right, good. So that's that's a start. Mm -hmm. Now the question now is based on that right angle triangle that you would have constructed here. Mm -hmm. How will this help you? Bearing in mind that you want to apply your knowledge of trig ratios uh, and possibly Pythagoras' theorem. So, how can this help you? It's a nightmare work on right now. Remember, you have two parts to the question. You have to calculate the, the distance from P to B. So, let me just um, write that in. So, you want to calculate the distance. Right, and remember now that distance PB will, will go from here will actually start from P and go all the way to B. So that's the distance you're trying to find. Yeah. And, and remember now, you're, you're given some angles. Yes. And, and so in order to use your right angle triangle, 
you know that you have to have internal angles. So those are some clues. So what can you do to help you to find related angles that can solve this problem? Let's, let's also label this point down here. And if you want to call it, say, the point D for argument C. So it means then um, you could find some angle and you could try to calculate P and PD, and you could try to calculate DB and, and, and see how that can help you to find PB. So um, with that said, see if you can figure out the rest. Um, sir. Yes, go ahead. To where we know, um, form the whole right angle triangle. We mm -hmm. could call the first the um would have to it, it wouldn't measure the same seventy degrees for the P angle, right? No. 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 Okay. Because but we know that mm -hmm. because remember that that angle within the right angle triangle would start here. Yeah. And so it wouldn't be the same as the 70 degrees. Right. But, but sir, wouldn't that form a right angle right there? From here to here? No, man, from the north line coming yes. over to there, wouldn't it? Yes, that would form a right angle, correct. Mm 